and succulent growers, it's Lynn. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about all of the spineless cacti that I have in my collection. And also um, the types of cacti that don't have spines. That's very good if you love cacti or you want to grow cacti, but you don't like spines. You don't like, to, you don't like the pain of getting bit. Or you have young children or pets. And I'm often being asked, Lynn, I do love cacti, but I don't grow them because I have young, I have young children or I have pets and I don't want them to get harmed. Or they say I just don't like spines, you know, but I sort of like the look of a cactus. Well, the good news is there's plenty of cacti that you can get and collect that don't have any spines. Or if they do have spines, they're very, very tiny spines, that tiny that you can run your fingers over them and they're not going to bite you. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. I do have a lot of spineless cacti, different types of genus. And rather, when I talk about each genus of spineless cacti that I have, I'm not going to be showing you the whole complete collection because I have um, many, such as my epiphytic cacti, that I have a huge range of, and it'd be way too long of a video. I'm just going to show you some examples and then share links to videos where I do tours on them, types of plants. So um, if you love cacti, but you don't want uh, spines, or you're worried about having, because you've got young children or pets, then this is, uh, hopefully this video will help you guys. And also, if you love cacti, spiny ones, such as I do, I just love all types of cacti. And uh, you want to know, oh, what spineless cacti are there? Then uh, this video, hopefully, will help you guys out and you'll learn a bit. So then, what cactus plants don't have spines? or very little spines. Well, I'm going to start off with a very common type of cactus that you do see in a lot of the garden centres and that's the beautiful Astrophytum. Now, not all of the, astro uh, the genus of Astrophytum are spineless, some are, some are spiny, but there's many that aren't and they're very beautiful cactus as well. This for example is Astrophytum myriostigma and it has where the areoles are and by the way guys if you're thinking what the hell is an areole an areole is where new spy where spines and new flowers come out of and that's where my finger is there that's the little areole and i'll just show you a bit more of a better example there this is one of my um, tello cacti it's a big areole and this is where all these spines come out of and also where new flowers come out of and as i say a lot of cacti would have these spines but these ones don't and instead of spines the astrophyta myriostigma just has little little white tufts so it's a perfect cactus to grow if you have if you have children or pets and it's very safe as well and it's a fairly easy growing plant too easy to get from garden centers other types of astrophytums i can show you an example yeah this is astrophytum coheliensi also there it's completely spineless too very nice that's another example of one of my Astrophytum uh, Myrostigma nudums there, absolute beauty. And this one has brown felted areoles, absolutely gorgeous plant. As you can see, I can touch it and it's not going to bite me. Now the next spineless cactus that I have in my collection, and this one is going to surprise you guys, because when I say golden bowel cactus and Echinocactus grusoni, you might automatically think of the most uh, commonly seen Echinocactus grusoni, commonly known as the golden bowel, very, very, very spiny, and just one you just don't want to touch. But they also do a completely spineless variety of Echinocactus grusoni, and this is one here, Echinocactus grusoni enormis. And it is the nude version of the, the golden bow. And there's absolutely no spines on this as well. And again, just the felted, um, lovely felted areoles instead of spines. So this is a lovely cactus. It's very attractive cactus. So it looks lovely if you love the look of them, but without the spines. And uh, Echinocactus grusoni inermis. Absolute stunner. Now the next spineless cacti genus in my collection. Well, this is going to be probably one of the most obvious ones. And that's the Lophophora. And Lophophora cacti, sort of commonly known as peyote cacti. They are completely spineless. 
and uh, this genus is really quite remarkable because it looks very wacky and weird and I also have to mention that sadly this genus is not always legal to grow in many parts of the US sadly down to the fact that it contains uh, alkaloids in the skin mescaline and sadly many states have, have banned it which is a shame but we're allowed to grow it here in Ireland and the UK and I love Lofafor they're just wacky they're a gorgeous cactus and I'll just get close up to show these little tufts here they just have woolly tufts instead of spines where the areoles are these little woolly tufts come out instead and it's a really lovely cactus lovely little pink flowers on the summer and it's an easy cactus to grow they do love plenty of sunshine and a very well draining gritty cactus mix if you can give them that they will do well for you and uh, just love these woolly little tufts so definitely if you can grow lophophora where you live in the country you live then definitely recommend these they're a safe very lovely cactus to grow and absolutely no spines whatsoever. Now I have to mention this cactus because although it's not spineless as such it does have very very tiny spines so you know you would have to really rub your hand on it to get any damage and you're not really going to do it then and that's the, the very common Echinopsis subdenu data and these are our Echinopsis cactus plants here and as you can see the majority of them are spiny but the actual subdenu data is one that just has white tufts where the areoles are but it does have very tiny spines such as you can see there you can run your fingers on it's quite safe but as I say, it's not strictly spineless because it still does have very tiny spines. But it's a, a bit of, well, I would say a very safe cactus to grow if you do have young children and pets because they're not really going to damage themselves on that. So although it's not strictly spineless, I wanted to include this in the video. Now here I am in my little white greenhouse and uh, this cactus here is a Serious Jamakaru, also known as the Cuddly cactus because it doesn't have any spines and uh, this sort of cactus is getting quite popular now what is quite interesting about this particular cactus is that this when we got it and it was last year it was like that completely spineless I mean, you can run your fingers on it and there's no spines just white felted areoles but all the new growth here this is all the new growth literally from this season from the spring from about the April time until now in July and it's grown double the height of what when I got it it does actually contain spines the new growth here only very tiny spines and they're certainly not sharp I can run my fingers on it and it doesn't really bite me but it does contain tiny short spines compared to the um, the original um, the growth that I got when I first got it so I'm guessing these these cacti are grown more of a bit of a gimmick and uh, whether they how they get them to have no spines I'm not sure but as you can see this is all the new growth and it does have very tiny spines but then again I can run my hands on it without uh, getting stabbed now the next one will be um, epiphytic cacti and I have a lot of epiphytic cacti in my collection these are ripsalis I also have um, slumbergia which is Christmas and Thanksgiving cactus and ripsalidopsis Easter cactus as well and they are all completely spineless and they are perfect to um, grow indoors and uh, if you sort of love plants that uh, have beautiful flowers and also perfect to having hanging baskets as well. The ripsalis, such as these here, they produce little tiny flowers, usually in the winter time, sometimes in the summer as well. And uh, the Christmas cactus and Thanksgiving cactus will produce lovely, lovely sort of blooms, anything from the October right up until the February time, all over the winter. So it's lovely to have the blooms at that time of year. And if you want to see a complete collection tour of my epiphytic cacti then do check out a video I've made on my epiphytic cactus collection it'll give you an idea in there of all the different types of epiphytic cacti you can grow that are spineless or they have incredibly tiny spines such as this ripsalis very soft spines and um, you'll be able to see all the different types that are uh, 
wonderful, wonderful cacti to grow in that video. I'll link that video up above and down below in the video description. And um, as I mentioned, I've got some lovely um, Ripsalis in my grow room as well upstairs. And they do very, very well on the hanging plant stand many different types many different varieties and as i include that in that video as well a bit of a tour on all the epiphytic cacti so do watch it if you want to know more about the spineless lovely epiphytic cacti and uh that's uh all of all of my collection in there but um, i'm just going to take you outside into the yard now to show you a couple of examples of my epiphyllum cacti that are very popular now those of you who know my collection know I have a lot of different types of epiphyllums in my collection. So if you want to see a whole tour of them, just um, go on to my videos and you'll see lots of them in flower. I've also done a whole video on my epiphytic cactus collection as well, where I include a lot of them in there. But just to show you an example, this is an epiphyllum here. This is my epiphyllum, uh, Mrs. G. Bahim, and uh, it's completely smooth. It does have incredibly tiny little spines from the area but you really have to go like that you don't feel any pain and they have the most incredible flowers on them um, as I say they're perfect uh, epiphyllums are perfect if you don't want spines and you love cactus flowers now here's one of my slumber jira cacti commonly known as the Christmas and Thanksgiving cacti and as I mentioned with the epiphyllum I'm not going to show you all of them I've got in my collection because I've done many videos on all of my Christmas and Thanksgiving cacti slumberger and uh, it'd be way too long of a video otherwise but I do have a lot of these in my collection so um, do go over onto my videos and check many of them out just type in Thanksgiving cactus or Christmas cactus desert plants of Avalon on the search on YouTube it'll come up with all my videos way too many to put uh, up above or down below in the video description but these are fantastic very very popular plants as well this is actually slumberger buckleyi and it's the true Christmas cactus because it has the the rounded sort of scalloped leaves rather than the serragated leaves that the Thanksgiving cactus has and uh, perfect to um, have around pets and uh, young children as well because they don't have spines either beautiful and they always have lovely flowers around uh, anything from the October to the right up until January February time I've also got some more slumbergera here, Christmas and Thanksgiving. All these allotties have grown from seed. And Easter cactus as well. Easter cactus, these have recently been flowering. These are ones I've grown from seed too. And they're a lovely, a lovely cactus. Not the most easiest cactus to grow in my experience compared to the Christmas and Thanksgiving cactus. They're very difficult. Tend to have a habit of dropping all their, their clades, which is their leaves here, all the time. But they do sort of perk up again in the spring and the summer and come into lovely flower. That one's forming a little seed pod there. And uh, they're also completely spineless and more difficult to get, certainly to find for sale than the Thanksgiving and Christmas cacti. In fact, even the true Christmas cactus is very hard to find for sale. Thanksgiving cactus is a lot more easier to get in my opinion, in, in a lot of the garden shops. But very, very uh, wonderful cactus to grow as well. Also epiphytic, as I mentioned. So there you go, guys. That's a little bit about the types of spineless cacti that I grow in my collection. And uh, I also want to mention as well, if you love cacti and uh, you want to have some spines, and, and they, these are actually very safe cacti I'm recommending now even if you have pets and young children for example there's this cactus here this is the Cleistocactus cholodemonsis commonly known as the monkey's tail because it has lovely soft fur and these this fur this hair are actually sort of all modified spines and it's very soft now if you press very hard you can feel there is spines just below the hair there but it's it's completely safe to touch and handle and no problem there if you want a lovely hanging cactus also that is more not necessarily an epiphyte but one that is not going to bite you beautiful cactus i can also recommend these as well these are parodia magnifica also known as nota cactus magnificus and these hairs these golden hairs here are actually spines also so it's not spineless so it's really wrong for me to include it in this video as such but because we're talking about cacti that can be safe as well this is a very good one because you've got the the best of both worlds you've got spines because these hairs are actually spines but because they are so soft and uh, feel more like hair 
it's not going to bite you so it's a very safe cactus as well to have indoors if you've got young children and pets just trying to think there's any more i do have quite a few hairy ones but believe it or not this might look soft but when you go to touch it there's sharp spines under there so then why do cacti have spines well i've made a complete video on why do cacti have spines and do go and watch that video for information on there on why cacti have spines it's not just to make them look awesome <laughs> i'll link that video up above and down below in the video description and i hope you enjoyed the the video guys and uh if you uh if you haven't done already don't forget to subscribe do click the notification bell so you can be notified when i upload new videos you can also follow me on instagram twitter and facebook at desert plants of avalon and for more growing tips also check my website out desertplantsofavalon.com and before you go guys do leave a comment in the video description below even if it's a heart or smiley face because every comment really does help the algorithm and do you grow any cacti that doesn't have spines or very little spines do let me know also in the comments down below i want to wish you all a fantastic cactus powered day i don't buy